What was the mood this morning when you got up and you were like, what am I gonna wear from my collection? This one made me look the snatchest in my waist and my butt looked the biggest. So there you go. <laughs> it literally came down to that. Cause it's really sometimes not about your closet. You can have all the clothes in the world and it's like, what does my body want to wear today? Everything that I learned in the past was leaf to lead me up to this moment. I first started off with being, being the endorser of brands and just lending my, my likeness and my face to fashion brands. And then I started collaborating with them, whether it was on a sunglass with Dior. Then I went to Puma and I had a much bigger role there. I got to design and have people really see what I'm made of as a designer and really just respect the work that we did. It's new. I, I, never done anything like this. This is completely different. This is like from scratch. You don't plug in to somebody else's thing that's been there. Like you have to create that DNA and make sense of what the brand stands for. It's different. It still is. Even launching it is probably the most expensive thing I've ever done in my life. When Rihanna first told me I was moving to Paris, I was excited for her. I was excited for what it meant for for so many people, like big outside of us, you know. Being the the first person kind of hired, and then shortly after me, there was a, the managing director. So it was really two of us in the in the very very beginning, kind of in a small office, just figuring out all the things that we needed to put into place and start to build a team. The process is is the best part, just having ideas and and brainstorming. And that's actually how I like to do it when it comes to fashion. Like you have an idea, it could literally be from a rubber band on someone's wrist. You see it, and you're like. Me and Jaleel to talk about it. I either text him a picture or text him a word and say, just remember this word when I see you next time, ask me about it. Yeah, like Re will randomly text me when she has an idea and just say, let's talk about this later. And it will sometimes never make sense and I never know what she means. You guys text or DM? We text. And she DM'd me once and I thought it was weird. I was Are like, get out of my DMs. <laughs> We get to a place where we know, okay, the direction, we get the team together, the team also starts going and going, and it's like a little hub, a, li a little creative hub. Mm -hmm. We did bring it, bring it down a bit too, and this one was too mm -hmm. easy. That's how I am. I'm, I want everybody's input. The most fulfilling part is to see the idea realized to see it come to life in a real tangible piece. When I approach this from a consumer standpoint, the type of consumer I am, I'm impatient. I want it now, I love it, and I, when I see it, I wanna be able to have it. I don't wanna wait for six months. I have been wanting to try the denim corset dress from the moment we came up with the idea. But to see it, it was obviously in sample size, and I ain't in sample size no more, girl, but I couldn't wait to get it, and I had them make it for me in my size just so that I could see what it looks like on my body, my curves, my hips, my thighs, and I loved it. Well, come with me, and I'll show you some of the clothes. What's up, then? <laughs> I get so happy when I see that. <laughs> I already know what my mom will want. Listen, I love, I love a little toe out shoe. Everybody knows I love. I love a good pump too. But this one, going into the spring, you just, you know, you kind of want to get a good pedicure, number one. And then you want a toe out shoe. Is that a date night shoe? <laughs> this is more than a date night. Okay. That's an affair. <laughs> it's great to have that, that cultural balance with, with your boss, you know, and just someone that, that really understands what you're saying. And, you know, I think she's done a really great job of really having a, a, a beautiful team of, of diversity among her staff. It's something new, it's fresh, and it's, it's opening doors for so many people, like myself, and saying that you can be anywhere and, and be a part of this, you know, to be a part of this world and to feel like you're also represented in a space that maybe you didn't feel that way before. You know, the, the campaign was really just trying to tell 
in an indirect way, Rihanna's journey, you know, starting from Africa to Barbados to New York to now Paris. It, it's, it was really to, to have just a nod to that. I love though the process of figuring out what the new idea is gonna be. Where are we going next? It's like, I love that about music. I love that about fashion. People get bored, you know, and they wanna do, do something new. And that's the unique thing about this brand. I get to do something new every time. We don't really decide who the Fenty woman is. We just do what I love to do and what I love to wear, which I love to explore.